Tell me you're in Stoke without telling me you're in Stoke. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video at Mr GDB Official, also known as GDB Rescue and Recovery. So today's video, um, we are going to be picking up the Leyland DAF later on today. In the meantime, having a little bit of downtime, we're just going to get on top of vehicle maintenance with the Ford F450. So it's going to be a little clean out um, inside, outside, and obviously re-grease the spec lift. Um, as you know, it is still up for sale on the market at the moment but it doesn't mean we're going to neglect it. We've still got to give her number one treatment and make sure she is fit and fighting ready to take on any tasks that might happen. As you know, with yesterday in the F450, we did the job at Stafford Hospital. If you didn't see that video, go back uh, one on the channel. And also we then had the little golf buggy, a little maintenance vehicle from a care home that got stolen. And we also put that on the back of the spec lift as well. So we're going to get cracking, get cleaning, and in a couple hours time, we're going to go and get our Leyland Daff. And if you like what you see, you know what to do. Right home. So we're currently using a cleaning product from Auto Glim, Auto Sh I don't even know what it's called, Ben. <laughs> Auto Smart. Auto Smart G101 for the first layer, which just gives it the edge when I put the pressure washer on, take some of the uh, horrible dirt and grime off. Then after we've jet washed it off, we'll just give it a traditional wash and then we'll give it a bit of a dry over and then we're going to grease up the spec lift and then hopefully we'll have a job coming very shortly once we've done a little bit of vehicle maintenance. Very important to keep on top of the trucks and keep them presentable at all times where we can. All right, sweet. And then we'll give her a bit of snow foam action as well. This is where I'm going to stand back. Stand back. <laughs> stand back. So if you didn't know already, this is the Ford F450, which is a 6.4 V8 engine, super duty, power stroke. It's an American vehicle. So this vehicle was imported over to the UK just over 10 years ago. A company called Stay Funds Recovery owned it for quite a while. And then another recovery firm up in the Northwest called RNW, Recovery Northwest owned it. And then obviously I had the great opportunity that I was offered the vehicle before it went publicly on the market. 
and then obviously I had no choice but to buy it to own it to be part of its life and part of its history but as you know now she's on the market for sale I don't really need this vehicle anymore I've had my fun I've had my novelty she's earned me some good money but as you know I've already got my Ford Transit T460 which basically does the exact same job as this with having the exact same recovery equipment so she is on the market and I'm sure very soon she'll be going to a new loving home but at the minute whilst I've got it I've still got to maintain it and I've still got to look after it So we're nearly done with cleaning the Ford F450. The weather is absolutely beautiful at the minute. Not too hot and not too cold. Once we've got this dried off, I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on the back of the spec lift, um, as it often takes a lot of dirt and debris when you're doing certain jobs at the roadside. So just gonna give it a little bit of a once over and a bit of TLC. Gotta keep her in fighting formation. It's all times ready to go for immediate dispatch. Beautiful. We are on the final countdown to go and collect the Leyland Daff. And isn't she gonna look absolutely beautiful? Very, very exciting times ahead. Well, that's it. She is looking fresh. Just gonna put a little bit of tire shine on and then she's ready for the road again. Absolutely beautiful. Good result. Well happy at that. Right, tire shine. Sweet. Break down a lot. Where did you see that? Oh, on the other side. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not a crash, is it? No, no. Just a breakdown. So we're currently out in the Land Rover Discovery 4. We're on our way to go and pick up the Leyland Daff. So you've already seen part one. You've already seen part two. Where well, this is obviously part three where we're going to go and pick it up. So I'm going to attach probably a couple of pictures just quickly below. So you can see how she looked before. And very soon you're going to see how she now looks today. What have you actually had done? Um, she's had a complete body makeover. So all the cab has been resprayed, the chassis been resprayed, the bed's been resprayed, the flyer and the beaker, that's all been redone. So it's literally gonna look brand, brand Bang. new. So very exciting times. Currently on the M6 between junctions 14 and 15 North. And the traffic isn't terrible. <laughs> it's all right, it is all right. But there is a breakdown on the other side of the motorway in a live lane and it has got a traffic officer there at the moment. But it's gonna mean a little bit of traffic for us on the way back. But we're nearly in Stoke-on-Trent. We're heading to Truck Spray. I've used him for years and years and I expect nothing but the best. And that's why I go back to him. And obviously, if you don't know, we are with Ben at the minute. 
Hello, and we're gonna be getting some amazing footage today. So please, please, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm gonna try and get some amazing footage today. I'll try. <laughs> let me know if he's any good or if he's not good. Yeah, and, uh, all the comments are gonna be <laughs> <laughs> And we might see him again soon. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, I mean, I only really watch live sport, to be honest. It's mainly like, you know, Netflix, Disney, etc. and then, yeah. A YouTube, yeah, a big YouTube watcher. You know, I did, I do. Well, you can pick and choose what you want to watch, yeah, can't you? Simple yeah, as that. There's quite a few people that I, you know, consistently keep up with. Um, but it's good for me as well because, you know, doing video, you, you watch videos like that and you see, I watch things differently because in my brain it's like thinking how things have been shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas most people, yeah, most people won't do that. No, it makes things a little bit more interesting, and you learn. You learn from my point of view. I learn a lot by watching other people's stuff. Of course. Um, I mean, I got a terrible memory, so I don't remember half of it. Bit like me. Could you not? If that's bad, could we not go down the? Um, A34. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad to be fair. Yeah, so I would. I, I would. I wouldn't go down there. If that's blocked up. I'd go down the 34. Yeah. We're now at oh. Handchurch, Stoke on Trent. Got the radio off. Yeah, I was going to say, could you get blubbing? Flag for having that yeah. in the background. So I turn it down just in case. Didn't even think about that. Was it on before? Yeah, only a little bit. Yeah, yeah but we're on, we're on mics here, so it might not be too bad. Yeah, these are quite sensitive, though. I reckon it will have picked up. <laughs> well, you're going to find out when it gets demonetized. That's all right. <laughs> That's no problem. What's this thing here? That is a amber flashing beacon, which is controlled on my control pad. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, not very effective. It is effective, but more at night time when it really mm. gets lit up mm. like a Christmas tree. Yeah, naturally. Currently on the A500 in Stoke on Trent. And at the minute it is clear, but we're at the right time of day, one o'clock in the afternoon. Come down here at five o'clock, forget it. <laughs> lovely day, lovely weather. And oh my God, I forgot. Nobody even knows what they're going to see on this Leyland Daft. We have bought a new private registration and some of you were commenting on my YouTube or inboxing me on Facebook saying Greg 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 I found a number plate for you but the matter of fact is you didn't because I already requested it in lockdown years ago and it only recently went to a public auction and yes I have secured the number plate for thousands of pounds which is ridiculous but it is what it is because if I didn't win it I'd end up paying more than what they bought it for so you're going to see the new number plate very, very soon. Yeah, very exciting. It sounds like I've used this like this. He's good at spraying trucks. I wouldn't probably say a car or anything, but doing trucks, that's, that's what he is. He's truck spray, not car spray. And he does such a good job, like. So it'll be very interesting to see. And the truck is very old. It's like nearly 30 years old. It's 27 years old. Oh, was it? Was it a shed on wheels before? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it was your typical, like, rough and ready recovery truck. Oh, those are the best ones. Old is gold. Old is gold. This is an accident hot spot here for Stoke on Trent, especially at peak time. People uh, are racing people, down. Yeah, the road yeah, yeah. And they want to quickly merge lanes. Yeah, if I ever find out that I end up buying a new van, which I do want to do soon, but it means it's going to have to be ordered in May, which might take like six to twelve months. But I want to do a proper video whenever I buy a new vehicle as well. It'll be mm -hmm. quite a good, a good experience of just buying a, a brand new vehicle. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I did a similar thing when Nick got his, didn't I? I didn't actually go through the process of. Yeah, but um, obviously once he's added. But he added, I did the cinematics and stuff there. But yeah, we could definitely go film, go to pick it, go ordering it, go picking yeah. it up, etc. Um, yeah, definitely. Right, cool. So if you didn't already know, we're in Stoke on Trent, also known as Mambo Mambo, Monkey and Spice, where zombies come alive at night or also in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you see one, just keep your head down and carry on because they literally act like zombies around this town. But on the good news, we are nearly at Truck Spray, which is just around the next corner. Here we go, here we go. Excited, very excited, very excited. Oh, I can see her. I can see her on the bottom left, I can see her. Oh my god. Oh my days. There she is. The green mean machine. <coughs> oh my god. That looks a completely different truck. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Afternoon. All right. Wow, what a difference. Going for big for YouTube, special on oh, YouTube, yeah. YouTube special, yeah. There's one thing with your truck. What? And smooth from bumper. Ah, it's not the end of the world. Same for the number plate, wasn't it? Yeah. Looks pretty smooth, doesn't it? Mm. Then the middle. Yeah, where the number ah, plate goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So smooth that over and I've pulled out this morning. Right. I thought, oh, not the end of the world. I'll probably end up just putting it back in the middle, to be fair. Really? Yeah, but what a difference that is. Jesus. I don't know what it looked like before. Not that nice. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough, man. It, it was with a hammer and just rust. Fell was off it? it? Oh, dear. Oh, well, should yeah, be a bit lighter cool, now, wouldn't you know? You knock some rust off. <laughs> yeah. Putting weight on the body. Mm. That looks nice now, doesn't it? Uh, oh, I'll get some all rusty uh, on the dear. doors, red wheels, scabby. Uh, oh, I've got tons of stuff out of here, tons. Mm. Yeah, she was all old and battered and bruised. Wow. We are here. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Jesus. Might as well park behind it now, get ready to load up. What a difference. What a difference. Yeah, I've always had the spice of YouTube up to it having a problem. Probably put uh, a number plate on. Shall we see what I bought? What do we think about that? 24/7 GDB. Have that. <laughs> Twenty-four seven GDB. And I've also now, what you won't have known before, but I've got a cone holder now on each side. Which is good. So that makes it a lot better yet again. And now we need to get these number plates stuck on. But let's do the back one first of all. Which this one um, will go. Just trying to think. I think it went under the left side. Uh, can't remember. Which side was on before? Must have been on this side. Yeah, I think it was. I can't remember what side the number plate was on before. I think it was the left side. Yeah, I think it used to be. Is it the right? Oh, is it there? Ah. Ah, yeah. How does that look on there? Sweet. Yeah, sweet. All right, put some sticky pads on the back. Woo! Is it still a bit wet? <laughs> no, it's not wet, it's just boiling. Oh. Straight out the body shop. It's just a little bit, what's the name, but we'll do it on there.
sweet. Hey up, hey up, job on. Vehicle breakdown. A few moments later. Thank you. Cheers, bye bye. I am certainly not a mechanic. Uh uh uh. Right. This is it, you only get one shot. That's it. No. <laughs> That's it. That is 24-7 GDB. That is the sickest plate you're ever going to see in your life. Yeah. Sweet. Just trying to take some black off my fingers. There we go. Right, let's go around to the front. Just missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got it. Um, also as well. The new filters have stayed like that. They've not painted over them. So that is good. That is very, very good. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Very happy indeed. Very happy indeed. Wheels look brand new. Brand spankers. What a difference. Now, where are we going with this? I went for this style of plate because that's the plate style that I wanted. It just reflected it better with the initials and the number. What do we think? In the middle. In there, yeah? Whoa! Oh, I don't know. I do quite like a bump a bit, but... I'll tell you what, cameraman, do you want to hold that number plate for me? Tell me what you think. Put it near the bumper. Let's have a look. Option one. Yeah, not bad. It will look better, I think, actually, when it's there and I've got my chevrons on. So, yeah. And try it to the right. Yeah. We'll go the middle for now. We'll go the middle for now. We'll go for the middle. We'll go for the middle. Mmm. These number plates were made by roller plates. You see, just on there. Right, one, two. Okay. Official, she's on. Just look at that. <laughs> we'll probably have to re grease it up a little bit, but we can do that when we get back. What an absolute difference. Right. 
drive the Landy on. First time. Just send the suspension up for me tow bar. There we go. Sweet as a nut. Brand spankers. Hey yo, job on. Hello! Yep, we're okay for any mobile phones, but thanks for the phone call. Thank you, bye bye. So many. Oh. Yeah. Be the same one. Be a friend now. Hello! Watch! Yep, same one again. Absolutely buzzing with the Leyland Daff. Absolutely buzzing. Bed is still a little bit wet in places, but it is what it is. Just so glad to have it back and we can get her out doing jobs again at the roadside. One more to do, one more to do. Oh dear. Right, I'll send it up. I'm just going to send the air suspension up now. Look at that. That is like a new truck. How old is she? 27. Nearly as old as us. Yeah. So we're all done at Truck Spray in Stoke-on-Trent. Thank you very much again, Mike, working wonders. The bill has now been settled. Um, Gonna shoot back to Stafford now with Ben. Thanks again for coming out and getting all the footage. I really appreciate it. Although I've not seen it, but we've got to hope that it's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Ben's got a seatbelt on for obvious reasons. I myself don't have a seatbelt, which was built with no seatbelts with the driver, so that's why I'm not wearing a seatbelt. For some of you that don't know about the Leyland Duff. Now let's see if I can remember how to drive a truck. Because she's been away for about a week, a week and a half. Is that car coming out? I don't know, but I am. Now the question is, have we got air conditioning? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. No air con, just keep that window open, my mate. Yeah. That is your air con. It's sweaty in here. Yeah. yeah. It's all right outside though, it's quite cool, so when we get going, it'll pull off. Yeah, true, true, true. Are you happy then? Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm buzzing. 
Main thing is when I've not had the truck and I've only got like thanks for that mate, like just you not even massive at bummer. Own. You <laughs> massive bummer. Oh my god. Some people. Oh unreal mate. Unreal. I let her off I let her off because she looked she quite young. Didn't have a bloody clue, yeah, she looked like she was quite a young driver, so we'll Jesus. give her a break on that one. But that was funny. Tell me you're in Stoke. We have to tell them that you're in Stoke. <laughs> Oh boy. So um, yeah, we're happy with the truck. Very happy indeed, over the moon. I could not be happier. But like I say, the biggest thing for me is having a truck off the road that I use regularly. Like I have struggled, like the F450 is good. She's very good at certain stuff. But if I get a Mercedes Sprinter on the motorway, automatic, it's got props after whatever, I'm struggling the F450, that ain't for me. Obviously putting on a Brian James trailer does not look good and you're overweight. Straight bar and with a tow pole, you can't always do that. So I have struggled, but we've got her back. We're back in business. So if you've got a breakdown, let's go get it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Old school Merc. Yeah, old school Leyland Duff and all. We are now going back on the A500 in Stoke on Trent, mate. All right, Duff, signing out, Kate. Yeah, we're in the Leyland Duff, did I not tell you? We're in the Leyland Duff. What the bloody hell's a Leyland Duff? This is the Leyland Duff. <laughs> this is the Leyland Duff. All these people looking at it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. You ain't got to worry about the radio noise in this one. Radio don't work and it's a cassette player. <laughs> old school. Old school. I can't even tell you what it is. Rock Collection Volume 6. Nice. Not just anyone's rock collection. Boots's rock collection. Nice. <laughs> didn't, didn't know Boots did music. I wonder if it's worth anything. Do we give it to David Dickinson and get an evaluation? I can't believe we're back in the truck though. Oh, it's not a weird feeling. How long have you not had it for? A week and a half. Feels like a long time. Feels like a long time. How many jobs a week do you get while you're using this thing? A few? A good handful, yeah, a good handful. Um, like when I was on that job yesterday, um, at Stafford Hospital, with the car over the embankment, I had a job for an Ivico, D Ivico Daily Exelon wheelbase, but I couldn't because I didn't have a vehicle yeah, suitable to do the job. Um, where this, would, this, would, this was the bread and butter for that job. And I've had that on quite a few occasions of certain jobs that I'm not able to do, but it's one of them if you're trucked off the road, off the road. Yeah, you can't do anything about it, can you? Swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. We had to take her off the road to give her that bit of love that she needed, and she's well worth it. We just need to get some stickers back on now, um, get us get the GDB Rescue Recovery logo on, and try and find a sign right that's got some chevrons on the front bumper, some yellow staggered chevrons, and that'll look the absolute dog's anglers. I tell you what, it's making my man boobs jiggle. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. Love a little jiggle, jiggle in the old Leyland <laughs> You want to see what it was like when I uh, when when we bought it? Me and Natasha we had the mobile tie on the back, and I didn't have to use the air suspension. Oh, that was a jiggle jiggle on the way back and all. The only thing that's next on the list with the DAF is the brakes. You're gonna get new brakes on the front, new brakes on the back. Because at the minute they work, but they're not as sharp and aggressive as we would like. Can you upgrade like the brake system on it? What like Brembo's? Mm. I don't, um, what, I don't know what that is, so that went straight over my head. No, uh, Brembo's like a thing to do on your boy racer days. Um, answer is for this, not really. No. It just needs new discs and pads or calipers, basically. They're just old and a bit sticky. But it's only a day job for that, absolutely fine. So that is going to be next on the list. What about it done before? Will you try and find a reliable mechanic on HDVs that have availability around near me? Doesn't happen. Literally does not happen. Alright, we're joining the motorway at Stoke on Trent Duff. Here we go. 15 southbound. We slot out in gear four. Getting ready for a gear change. Three, two, one. And oh, we're in fifth gear. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
She's right. home. Huh? She's home. She's home. The old girl is back. She is back. Look at that. What a beauty. So we've just got back from picking up the Leyland Daff and the Land Rover, just parked it up and now we've got a job on the M6 between junctions 13 and 14 northbound in a refuge area for an Audi A4. So it's only right that we go back out in the Leyland Daff. Okay, let's go. Yay! So as you know, we have just got the Leyland Daff back from the body shop and straight away, she's not even had time to have a sticker put on. We are shooting out between junctions 13 and 40 north. The rolling roadblock has just been released. My customer was in a live lane of the motorway. They should now be in a refuge area. And we've got to go get them picked up. So if you break down on the M6 between junctions 13 and 40, call me and let's get it. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. Oh, oh lorry. <laughs> back window, back window, back window. <laughs> So because of the temporary motorway closure that they did to tow pole or rope that man into the lay-by, look at this. This is what happens. Now I've got to sit in that till we can get to the job. You don't need to shut off the whole motorway. Yeah, you call it safe and you're what, but you don't need to shut the whole, shut two lanes off or something. Do a rolling roadblock, just shut two lanes, I don't know, whatever, but it, the, there's no words. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do it. We've got on a smart motorway to keep the lanes running. We just, just don't need to what's, do it. What's the point of it being smart? There is, it isn't smart. Not strapped the back wheel? The back left wheel is not strapped. And you know me guys, I love a four strap. If you're a four strapper, you are naturally my friend. If you are a one, a two or a three strapper, I ain't interested, I ain't got the time of day for you. <laughs> and if you're looking at me when I ain't got my seatbelt on, I ain't got none, it's a Leyland Daff. She was made with no seatbelts, just putting it out there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're soon going to be pulling up in one mile. Hopefully highways have gone, so it just gives us time to get on with the job and hand. And obviously we've got a camera crew here today as well, and highways never probably like to see cameras, because they're not one of their own. But we will be staying safe, we'll be staying on the left-hand side at all times. Um, just videoing the footage whilst I get the job done. Yeah, I don't particularly plan on dying today. Not today, but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> half a mile to go, half a mile to go. When we get to the next marker post, we're going to be indicating left with our warning beacon illuminated. Three, two, one. Beacon on, indicating left. Highways are still there, I've just seen a glimpse of the orange beacon. Still in front of the casualty vehicle, but the other highway officer's gone, so that's cool. But I could do with you putting your truck away. <laughs> Nobody's took any notice, but it's all right. The only time they're allowed to rug it is then. Sweet. Don't worry about it, it's only for the vehicle in the air car, that's all. Once we're done and finished. You know what I'm doing? If anybody's lost the glasses on their M6, give me a shout!
coming down. Me camera. There we go. If you're wondering why I've not got gloves on, I broke my finger and it hurts to put gloves on. So that's why I ain't wearing gloves. Just gonna reverse back a bit first and we get ourselves a nice run up to rejoin. Okay. Back to Stafford, yeah? Yes please. So no problem. So okay. um again if you could just say um what happened to your vehicle today when you're on the motorway please. Yeah. So um have you started recording? Yeah, it's on. Oh yeah. my days. Oh um <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so um uh earlier today I was just um trying to get back home from work. Um, haven't been on the M6 um, from Junction 6 to exit Junction 14. Uh -huh. Between Junction 13 and 14, my coolant went off. Okay. So yeah. it exploded and um, the vehicle. Exploded. Vehicles, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, I could hear the bang. Um, so um, I had to reach to my phone and made the first call I could get to a recovery um, service. Yeah. And here comes my heroes. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> but tell uh, me, where were you on the motorway? Were you in a lay-by? Were you on a hard shoulder? Um, so originally I was caught up on the actual third lane of the motorway because I sensed there was a problem with the sound that I could hear. Yeah. So I moved to the very third lane. So while I was on the third lane, that was when the the, the yeah, furthest lane from the good. motorway. Yes. So, so yeah, first the slow lane, lane. Yeah. slow lane. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at that point, I was far away from any available hard shoulder. But this is on a smart motorway. Yeah, a smart motorway. With so no hard shoulder. No hard shoulder. And no lay by for you to quickly get in. Not at all. Mm. So um, I had to pull in as far out of the road as I could, even though I was Jeez. still creating a hazard. A hazard. But there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, no. Oncoming vehicles had to keep avoiding Jesus. me to get past. Yeah, dangerous. So what do you yeah. think of the smart motorway? Is it smart? Um, not as smart as it was expected to be. No. It actually endangers people rather than make life easier. Yeah, or to make you it's, safer. It took awesome. away your, your hard shoulder, your safety as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. So. So, God forbid it, but luckily highways were soon on their way to yeah. you and they got you towed into a lay-by. Yep. Overall, they are very, very dangerous places to be. True. Not so smart. But Not. other than that, that is perfect. So, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Customer. You're most welcome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Right, that's us at the drop-off. Just going to take a quick picture and then uh, on to the next one. I'm sorry, but just look at number plate. 24-7 GDB. All went well anyway. That was a smooth operation. Yeah, it was a nice bloke. Yeah. Yeah, sweet at that. Beautiful. Sweet as a nut. Yep, that'll do. You're in. Perfect. No problem, thank you. 
Oh, brilliant. Thanks for that, my mate. Okay, so that's another day in the life of Mr. GDB. If you like what you see on the channel, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share the posts, comment away. We've obviously got a new plate on the Lady in Daft. She's out at the body shop. She's had a debut job straight away within 10 minutes of being back. I have got another job now, but Ben's got to go. I've got some other tired jobs to do, so we'll save that for another day. Um, hit me up on the socials, Instagram, MrGDB underscore. The Facebook page, GDB Rescue and Recovery. If you want any product reviewing, dash cams, jump packs, tools, equipment, send me an email, gdbrescueandrecovery at mail.com. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Mr. GDB, over and out. Okay, let's go. If you have not already got yourself any of my merchandise, get on the website now, www.gdbrescueandrecovery.co.uk forward slash shop. We've got beanie hats, high-vis vests, t-shirts, bomber hats, jumpers. Get on the website now and thanks for all your support.